I wanted to take a, a quick moment to say my goodbye. I, I think I've told you and you that I grew up uh, in San Francisco, but spent a lot of time in LA, went to college in LA, and he was the 800 pound gorilla of news anchors in LA. Mm -hmm. And so, and I couldn't believe when I came here. Uh, but one uh, part of our lives we share is that there were both times when you and I were, were not working. Oh, right? yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, that was and fun. And there was a time. <laughs> I was in between jobs and I was working at a clothing store and I was kind of waiting and hoping for my next job. And I was helping this guy fit, I was fitting him in a suit and my phone rings and I look and I, and it was, it was like, I think you still had a Santa Monica prefix, yeah. but I answered it and it was you. Yeah. I completely abandoned this customer, just <laughs> left him like on the tailor's chair and I talked to you and knowing that, you, and you were telling me about Buffalo and right. the wonders of Buffalo and you should really come. And it was at that moment that I'm like, oh my gosh, my career is gonna launch again. And it was that phone call. I get shakes just thinking about it because I, I, A, I was talking to you, but I knew that there was, you know, a chance to get back in. So, and was I right about this? Time? You were so right. Absolutely. And I, I had to get you a gift because I think this sums it up very well. If you could zoom in here. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal <laughs> in Buffalo. <laughs> and everywhere and around everywhere the country. There you go. Thank you Aww. very much. I appreciate it, Patrick. We're glad you're here, man. Thank oh, you. we sure Thank are. You. And John, over the five years that we've been together on Daybreak, you've been so much more than just a co-anchor to me. You've been my friend, my happy hour buddy. You've been Uncle John to Elliot. And you're pretty much, as I said earlier, my on-air husband. And so that means a lot of love and also a little bickering here and there too, just a little. But over the years, um, you've gotten to know me really well. I've gotten to know a lot of your habits, like the blue jacket and of course the khaki pants. And also, of course, you walk in every morning, guns a blazing, going straight over to Steve Brown's desk for some bubble gum. Yep, so hopefully right. this will last you a little yep. while. Then of course, we've got the um, always your Mountain Dew. You've dropped to one a day, yep. so these will last you just six days. Oh yeah, that'll days. get me through you... the week. Absolutely. Now, you also had a Snickers for breakfast every morning. You've cut back, and yep. I don't think you even do those anymore, but you can indulge a little in retirement, You're okay? You're such an enabler. The breakfast of champions. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <I'm an enabler. laughs> now, we know that you want to do some writing uh, in your retirement. Oh no, oh, the where pens. did they go? Where did Hold the on. pens go? I'll find them, I'll find them. Well, I gave you a bunch of pens. Yeah, okay. So you've got some pens. You're right. always clicking here on the desk and tapping. Right. So I hope that those pens will bring you good luck. Oh, do I have the pens? Oh, here are they. Okay, so we've got some pens for All right. you. Boy, do you ever. And I know that Gracie is your baby, your Wheaton Terrier. Yes, She's she is. everything to you. That's right. So you'll have a lot of time to go on lots of walks with her and spoil the heck out of her. So I've got some bacon and some a leash there for oh, you so good. you can go on nice long walks. Wow. I know that you will be spoiling Gracie. And John, you really have spoiled us over the years as well. I know this schedule is not easy. We all know that this schedule is not easy, but the best part of waking up at three o'clock in the morning is knowing that at 4 a.m. when we're here, you're not coming in grumpy Never. and mopey ever. We know that we can rely on your smiles, your ridiculous stories. <laughs> <laughs> and your wit and your laughs. And we are so appreciative of that. And I will miss you so much. Let's take a look back at some of those laughs over the years. Five degrees. You would think that John Beer would wear some extra layers this morning. Well, when they say starts now, you mean starts right now. Huh? Right now, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, 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 they, they don't have. Never mind. It's not. That's all right. It was like this. And, and then it was all illuminated. I want to see that again at some point. Oh, there. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think I'll ever forget that. I'll be darned. Okay, I'm a wee bit behind the curve. I don't think you noticed. Right. But I'll be good to go right after this impressive weather forecast. Looks Morning. Extreme. <laughs> what, am I missing something? <laughs> what was that about? I always wanted to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where to go with that one? <laughs> You're, I'm all right. Mary just said in my ear, our producer, that there are donuts in the newsroom. Whoa, oh, really? Why aren't they in the studio? Hi, John. And until when would you bring me? 
There you go. Oh, the old fashioned. Well, you want one of these? Uh, yeah, I don't like jelly filled. Oh, all right. Yeah, and, and the because you know, it ends up on my tie every time. How about this? Because it, it goes rogue. It How squirts about this out. Big chocolate sucker. That's too much. All right. Okay, move, move, move. I wish it was inside your head right now. <laughs> are you, or then again, maybe are you sure it. about that? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> farmer's market, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Were you, Sorry, were you talking? You get plenty of airtime, John. <laughs> this is my time. Coming up next. <laughs> well, see how the morning drive looks with Dave Cash and traffic. He's all too. good to go. All right. We'll see how the morning drive shaping up with Dave Crash and Dave Cash. <laughs> and traffic tracker, too. Today, your key to a perfect Super Bowl day party is only two chicks away, a two, two clicks away. Two clicks away. <laughs> Two clicks away. Money Man Matt Granite has the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. And being over 50 helps too. Oh, oh, the tickets <laughs> first. <laughs> <laughs> It's better when you're 62, right? Getting <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of warm in here, too. Jeez, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Let's pull up the map, please. <laughs> Looks like he just left a bachelor party. Well, it's funny. He walked in with a lampshade on his head. Oh, come on, come on. And Valentine's Day is this weekend, but can you honestly say that you know who the holiday is named after? Well, in a John Beard exclusive Daybreak investigation, <laughs> That's exactly the tough question I went out to ask. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Hey, Laura. Oh, my God. <laughs> Happy early Valentine's Day. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you. I don't think you're a happy person. <laughs> There's a lot of happiness right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, all right, well. We, we know that you always want to stay at that desk over there. Yeah. You will only move when there's food, so we have some here. Well, that's the way to go. And we have a pie, because <laughs> we know you don't like cake. Excellent. So a key, key lime, lime pie. All right. Couple balloons and uh, yeah, thank you, Steph. Hey, Johnny, look who I brought. It's so good to see you. you Johnny, would miss this for the world. A little blast from you the past. Cake. You hate cake, don't you? Very, oh, yeah, you know me. I hate sweet stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Jody, it's good to see Great you. Great to see again. everybody. We, oh. we would not miss this for the world. Well, I appreciate you guys coming in, and I know this is no, no longer your schedule. That's true. So, uh, look, I, I know this is the time when they bet I'm going to, you know, like get weepy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, you so to get your bets now. <laughs> but look, I, I just, this is going to be short because I, I will lose it a little bit. I just want to say a couple of things. I mean, I came here seven years ago. I expected to be here two or three years. But hey, who, who thought I would have my job longer than Matt Lauer? And, <laughs> Whoa. And, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Some of the yeah. things that came out of your mouth and that oh, you did, John, right. it's a miracle. You're so Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, you dodged a little bonus <laughs> along the way. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, look, here's the deal. They, you know, I, I do want to thank Jim Tolner and, 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 you know, he hired me seven years ago along with our news director at the time. And, and, and uh, you know, they, I think they knew at the time I wasn't your traditional anchor. And I think they found out quickly I really wasn't your traditional anchor. And I know that there were, um, there were a couple of days early where they really thought they'd made a big mistake. As a matter of fact, I know, I know one day for sure we actually had breakfast and talked about it. <laughs> so, you know, things happen like that. But look, I've been here uh, twice, once in the 70s, made a lot of friends in this town. I mean, Kevin O'Connell and uh, Ed Kilgore, two of my oldest friends. When old, I mean, you know, like, uh, I mean, like, I've known them a long time. You got an extra bet at the yeah, nursing home. Yeah, exactly moment. right. Yeah. And, you know, they're, they're, those guys will be my friends for life. And this next, last seven years, I've made a whole new batch of friends. And, and I intend to keep those guys. But um, mostly, and most importantly, you know, you guys let us in your family every morning. You know, you've got sleep in your eyes and cobwebs in your head. You're, you're not even dressed. Your hair is coming to a point. And, and you know... We hope we left you informed and, you know, sent you off to start your day with a little bit 
bit of a smile on your face. And, and um, this city, I fell in love with this city decades ago and it never left. I used to come back all the time and live here again. And it's the people that make it, you know. You know, Buffalonians are, they're not afraid of work and they're not afraid to have a good time. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's a pleasure to be an honorary member, if nothing else, of the Buffalo family. So I'm gonna stop it here because I know what's mm -hmm. getting ready to happen. I'll just say, look, thank you for watching. We'll see you around town. Hey, how long have you and I known each other? 40 years, close to it. Now, now we we can't necessarily, now your your husband, Dave, and, and your son, <laughs> Jay and Elliot. Jay, Jay. Jay. <laughs> right. I knew it was one of them. Uh, the thing is that we don't complete each other's sentences, but you've traveled to some wonderful places. Yeah, You've gone right. to a few dives I, in your time I as have, well. yeah. Okay. They if weren't you, dives when I got there. They were, yeah. They, <laughs> if you could go anywhere, yeah. where would you like to go and why? Well, I'd kind of like to go to Spain. Why? Never been there. Uh, open the envelope. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Do I get to go with him? <laughs> no. This is what I thought he would answer the question. Let's North Tonawanda. The... Awesome. <laughs> He'd like to go to? I want to go to Spain. I like the music. Um, three dog oh, nights. Nice. Wow. Wait a minute. Five Does this mean I get the sun or I get oh, the trip? <laughs> uh, you get the paper. Oh, man. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Here, grab this one. This no, one. Thanks, everybody. Jody. It's been great. It's really been great. Thank you. We Bucky are so happy for you. Look at these bookends. You guys are great. I really appreciate it. Love you guys.